Today, I'm going to look a little bit at a few of the saving functions in GIMP and kind of give you the rundown of how saving works in GIMP because that's not entirely intuitive at first glance. So basically what you have to understand, and I'll open an image here to uh, get something to save. You have to understand that GIMP has two modes of saving. Um, and basically these modes are um, export and editable formats. So for the editable format, that's .xcf. And that's what happens when you press Control S or you go File, Save. And it changes it to .xcf. Now what XCF does, it's a larger file size, but it also means that if you have like five layers or whatever, so say I've got all these three layers, when I save it as an XCF and I open it back up again, um, it will have all those three layers fully editable and changeable. So it's very useful. I suggest when you're working on larger products uh, or projects to save multiple copies uh, in XCF format because that'll make sure that you don't lose that much work if one gets corrupted or if you accidentally export without saving. Now the second kind of saving in GIMP is exporting. Now exporting is like basically flattening it uh, and you lose information in that process but that's how people have to view it because you can't view an XCF with a normal image viewer. So typically you're going to want to export to .png .xcf. You can also export to a couple other things like .gif for web graphics and that sort of thing. And you can also print as a PDF by going file print and then selecting your PDF printer. But most importantly, file, export, save as a PNG. It'll give you a couple of options. Just press OK unless you're very, very knowledgeable, in which case you don't care. Um, and then you've got your PNG, which is viewable by anyone. You can see right here, viewable in this format, whereas the XCF when I right click on it and go preview, there's no option to preview that. But the XCF will contain my layers, whereas if I open this in GIMP, there are no extra layers. It's just that one image. So those are the two different modes of saving in GIMP. Always remember to create uh, backup copies of your projects in .xcf format. That way you won't lose your works. And also subscribe to Learn GIMP too. It's on YouTube. And visit learngimp.org for more tutorials, lessons, and guides for GIMP.